Well, of course, because I washed the truck yesterday. It's raining today. Good morning, everybody. We're here in Latalie, Manitoba. At their little truck stop by their motel. Slept here tonight. Now I've got to go deliver these shingles that are on my trailer. And then see if they have one more thing for me to do today or if I'm going home after that. Let's go get these things delivered. Put deodorant on. Brushed my teeth. I just need to stop somewhere for a coffee yet. Probably... We haven't gone through Morris yet. Let's stop Tim Hortons in Morris coffee. Got my breakfast right here. Breakfast of champions. Maple brown sugar. Mm. All right, I guess I put my stuff away here. It always happens that way. You just wash the truck. You're like, I think we're safe. It hasn't rained in a while. You wash the truck and it rains. Oh, well. Oh, well. At least we got all new dirt going onto the truck today. Much better than yesterday's dirt. Okay, we're on up there. Okay, let's go. A little muddy over there to our right, so I'm gonna go this way. We crossed the border last night to avoid the traffic today. By the looks of all the trucks going by on the highway, I was right. 100 meters, turn right on. Railway Street and then turn right in 130 meters. So I don't know what's up after I deliver this. I don't know if there's going to be another load or not. Might be a short one to Thief River, might not be. But just in case, I stopped here for my full 10 hours anyways, just to make sure that I... Turn right on, nine roll ready to go. Highway 201 and then, keep to the right of 90 meters. I only had to stop for eight, but if I would've only stopped for eight, I wouldn't be legal to go back into the U.S. today. So I made sure I was legal to go any direction they need me to. circle to get out of here.
Thief River Falls, Minnesota. I apologize, it's been a whirlwind again today. It's been that, like that all week. And don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I'm happy to be busy. Busy, busy. So what I did this morning, brought those shingles into Winnipeg, got them off the trailer in like 20 minutes. Straps rolled up, put away, everything. Called in to the load guard and said, hey, I'm empty. He said, hey, you want to go to Thief River? I said, yes. Yes, I do. And you're going to Thief River. So we got one more load in this month yet. So this is month end. Uh, it's a Friday when I'm filming this. So uh, snuck one more load in this month yet. That'll go into next month's pay. It's awesome. So now I just got to bring this trailer back to our yard. And then I've already got my load assignment for next week. I'm going back to Kenora. Probably going to do this all again next week. I've got to stay close to home because we got a lot of important things going on at home right now. And I can't wait to tell you about them. I'm sorry, but I've got to leave you hanging because I want to make sure that I'm at home and with Britt when we tell you everything we've been up to. Some exciting stuff's been going on and we're, we're very excited. So something big to tell you soon. But uh, if you already know, don't spoil it. Okay? Are you personal friends out there watching? Let everybody speculate down in the comment section. Don't confirm or deny anything. Just everybody go and speculate. What's the big news? What's I want to know what you guys think it is. What do you think that... What, what's a big thing that could happen in our lives that I would want to tell you together with her? Let's see what you have to say down below in the comments. All right, I got to get going. We're still in a rush. I got to go home. So because of what's going on, I have to stay close to home. Uh, so I'll be uh, probably doing these loops a lot wherever they need me to go. Uh, staying uh, relatively close because I need to be at home for uh, specific days in the coming future. And we got a lot to do and prepare. Prepare for. Okay. Let's skedaddle, as they say. As they say. Man, it's hot today. I thought it was fall time. Feels like the middle of summer out here. Let's wait for Mr. UPS. Is he turning in here or is he going past? He's turning in here, okay. And wait for Mr. Motorcycle. morning it's the next day I made it home late last night I think I got home at about uh, 11 o'clock or later Maybe about 11 o'clock pretty much had a shower ate something went straight to bed and now this morning we have to bring our terrain our other vehicle into the shop uh, it's getting its brakes redone it's time brakes are kind of important I've been told so we're taking it into GM here in Steinbach. It's called Lettingham GMC. And get them all replaced. I don't know if they got to do the rotors too or not, but that's what we'll find out. So Brett's behind me in the terrain. I'm going to drop it off and we're both going to come back in the pickup. It's officially that year where it's freezing in the morning or really cold in the morning, but hot in the afternoon. You can just feel it. Winter's coming. Ugh. Too early, son. Go back to bed. Thanks. So yesterday was a, like I was saying, it was a busy day. <coughs> so we started in L'Atelier, right? With that load of shingles. We brought that into Winnipeg. We delivered that. We were, took a couple hours to get there and get delivered. Did it as quickly as we could. From there, we went straight down to Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Dropped that empty trailer. Picked up another loaded step deck. 
pulled that all the way back up here to our yard where I dropped that and took my straps off. And then I came home. It was a pretty good day. It, it was a good day. It just ended up going late. I got a bit of a late start because I had to stop for my 10 hours, right? So I could get into the US again. That pesky law, you know? Starbucks. I really didn't think Starbucks would succeed in Steinbeck. I was wrong. I was wrong. There's a whole different kind of crowd that goes to Starbucks and there's plenty of them in Steinbeck apparently. So here is Chevrolet GMC. I'm gonna go find a parking spot and let Britt line up in front of the door there. So the brakes have never been done on that terrain yet. So it's the first time it's got about 107,000 kilometers or probably what 65,000 miles or something. We're a little overdue. 107,000 divided by 1.61, 66,000 miles. So it's, it's time. Uh, the one was starting to make a sound. <laughs> when they start making sounds, it's time to get it checked out. <laughs> it's time. Uh, so we made sure to uh, tell them that we only want OEM parts on there. Her dad, who works with us now, driving truck, uh, used to work in a service department at GM in uh, in Winnipeg, and he told us that just stick with just OEM, you'll regret it if you go with the cheaper stuff. So we trust him. We're gonna get the good stuff. Speaking of the good stuff, our next vehicle is right there. You can yeah. see it a little better if uh, we didn't have so many Frankie nose prints here. <laughs> it's a GMC Yukon Denali. No, it's not actually ours. That, that's not the big news. I'm curious, did you pause the video already and go down below and take a guess at what our big surprise is yet? I just told them there was a big surprise and they're supposed to go down in the comment section <laughs> and guess. So we have some big news. I wanted to share it together with Britt. Maybe I'll let her tell. What happened? What did we do? We bought our forever home. We're moving. We're moving in about a month. So we sold our house through uh, the same agent that sold our last house. Um, how do you pronounce her last name? I don't want to butcher her last Emma name. Emma Boulanger. 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 She uh, <laughs> sold our last house in Marchand in less than a day. And she didn't disappoint again. She sold our house again. Before it was, yeah, in one day, before it was even really on the market. It had just gotten on the market. We had scheduled, uh, this was on a Wednesday or a Thursday? I can't a Thursday. We, we put it on the market on a Thursday, and on Saturday we were going to do an open house. We didn't make it to the we open house. We didn't even make it to the open house. We had 14 showings and six offers on the house. And we got well above asking price for the house like, instantly. Yeah, little houses with little mortgages are in demand right now. So. so we're very happy. We got a really good price on our new home. Mm -hmm. We'll show it to you as, as time gets closer. We're very excited. It's a four bedroom. It has a basement. It has a big fenced yard. The dogs are going to love it. Theo's going to love it. There's a tree in the backyard where uh, the grandpas can build a tree house. They already have plans. They've already been talking together, collaborating. Yeah, we're hey. finally giving Theo, oh, well, finally, he's only six months old, but we're giving <laughs> Theo the childhood home that he deserves to grow up in, along with his siblings, hopefully. And that'll be where every Christmas is. That'll be that'll be mom and dad's house where he comes comes home all the time. Where his childhood home where he grows up and then where our grandkids come. So we're very happy. Uh, and now to start the not so fun part of packing and moving. <laughs> we're gonna hire movers this time, I think. But uh, for the big stuff. For the especially. big stuff. We'll do some of it ourselves. But yeah. that's the big news. So back there was the Yukon Denali. Up here is my next pickup. It's right there. Here it is. Isn't she beautiful? I wish I could take it home right now. But not quite ready. First the house. And IVF. Yes, an IVF. We might have another round of IVF coming up. Man, it's a good looking truck. Give you a little bit of a better view of our next SUV. I don't know if it'll be a Denali. It'd be nice to have a Denali when we get one, but uh, it'll most likely be a GMC Yukon, just like this. Might be a Yukon XL, depends on how many kids we end up having, but one day, 
We're going to keep dreaming until that ends up in our garage. That's right, we have a garage now. I mentioned Starbucks on the way in. My wife is one of those Starbucks people. I love pumpkin spice lattes. We'll get her her frappa da pacino. Just said a pumpkin spice latte. Same thing. <laughs> and that was our big news that I wanted to share. I wanted to share it with Britt. Uh, at home. I was just at home for a quick weekend. I'm back at work already as you can see. I'm waiting to get loaded here I just wanted to close this off and Yeah, we're very excited. Uh, we were only planning on doing this moving and uh, Selling next year probably under a year from now But the stars aligned and everything worked out just perfectly that we could get it done this year And it's it's the perfect house exactly what we were looking for uh, When we walked in there we knew immediately This is the one this is the one. And so we, we gave it a shot and everything worked out perfectly. Our house sold in a day uh, for more than we were asking. And we got a really good deal on the house that we bought. We're staying in Steinbach in the area there, the Steinbach area. Everything's, Every, everything, like, like we said, we knew that when we found the right place, everything would just work out and everything would fall into place. That's exactly what happened. And so we're just ecstatic would be the word. We're very excited. Uh, we hired movers, so we don't even got to move our, our own stuff. It's great. But we do have to pack it all up. So this month will be all about packing when I'm at home, pretty much getting ready to move. And getting getting settled into the new place next month, I guess. So once we're in there, we got possession and everything. Of course, I'll give you the tour of the house. We have a basement now and everything. It is a four bedroom, so we're expanding from a two bedroom to a four bedroom because our family is growing and we want it to grow even more yet. And we have the space to grow into it. It's got a big fenced backyard for the dogs to run around in and for the kids to run around in too. It's, it's everything we wanted. So I can't wait to show it to you, but we'll have to be a little bit patient because we got to wait for the current people to get out, <laughs> to get out of our house. Uh, so our possession date is uh, in a few weeks. It's gonna go fast. So I'll be working and packing this whole month. That's it, just working and packing, working and packing, working and packing. Anyways, uh, thanks for hanging out and uh, joining me today. We'll be back in the truck in my next vlog. So be safe out there and stay safe on the roads. See you later.